what is up y'all we finally got our mutt um blog here all the news about mutt and it, it, i haven't read it yet but mount ultimate team revisioned uh what do, i don't know what that means but we're about to read this y'all make sure you smack a like button on this video if you're excited for mutt 18 also if you're new when you hit that subscribe button hit that notification button as well join the notification squad and never miss a video all right let's get into this y'all so we've had some great dev blogs talking about and wait hold up can i look at this picture real quick ab is looking kind of ugly in that but um uh, <clears throat> uh and game modes coming to Madden 18 okay but up until now we really haven't talked about what's fundamentally different about Madden ultimate team this year if there's one thing we take a lot of pride in it's listening to the community there was a lot to take in uh the past year and we've addressed a lot of the concerns of the Madden community now let's get into start talking about it. okay so i just hope to see Actually, never mind. Let's just get into this. Player overall. Arguably, the number one piece of feedback collected last year was that the players did not receive enough of an individual ratings boost to justify a 2-3 to three point overall jump. This made players feel like they couldn't tell much of a difference when playing with an upgraded player. Makes sense. To address the issue, we had to go back to make changes to our player overall formula. God, yeah, they definitely need to do that. Um, just overall in the game, not, not just much. Uh, it's not easy to describe the changes that were made, but here's the general direction we went in. In the simplest terms, player overall is calculated in a similar way uh, that the sap calorie value is. Each position has a formula catered specifically for it. From there, we identify what ratings mean and the most at what? What ratings mean the most at each position and assign a weight to them. Okay. Sorry, I'm I'm pretty bad at reading, y'all. I'm yeah, damn. Sound like freaking Floyd Mayweather. What this all really means is that it will take more individual rating increases in order to increase the players overall. We want an even one point overall increase to feel like a major difference in performance. Because of this, you will see lower individual ratings at the beginning of the year. The benefits of this overall philosophy shift really come when factoring in how much better a player will feel after an increase in overall and later in the year when the player overall start getting a little higher. Let's go back to uh, Man 17 to look at an example. Julio Jones had a 94 Man of the Month. If you were to plug his exact ratings into Man 18, he would only be 93. Here's what a hypothetical 94 overall Julio Jones looks like. Okay, so they got a comparison compared to last year, this year. So 94 overall, both both Julio Jones 94 overall. Um, he has one more speed, one more excel, one more agility, one more jumping, one more catching. Two more spec catch, three more route running, two more catch in traffic, one more. Really, oh my, that's a, that's a lot of ones. That's that's a, that's a pretty big difference. Uh, same run block, same stiff arm. Okay, so one more release, two more catch and try. Uh, that's that's a pretty huge difference to be honest. That's that's huge. That's a lot of stats. That's one example. Let's really highlight the change as we compared Le'Veon Bell's 99 overall signature series item from Mad 17 with a hypothetical 99 overall Bell from 18. Simply pouring over 17 Bell, his overall would be 97 in this game. Here's the bare minimum it would take to make 99 Bell, or sorry, Bell 99 Mad 18. Again, if any of those stats, oh my god. So, to make a 99 Bell in 18, we're going to need 97. Yeah, see, this is what I want to see. I don't want to see 99 mans with, like, I don't want to see any man getting a 99. I don't want to see any man getting a 94, 95. You know what I mean? Like, you have, I mean, obviously it's mutt, so, so eventually later on in the year, random dudes like Cody Kessler are going to get a freaking 94 or whatever, right? But, uh, the stats got to be there. You know what I mean? The stats can't be any stats. 97 speed compared to 94. 96 excel compared to 94. 97 agility compared to 96. 92 jumping, 77 catching, like, every single stat pretty much is all higher and even though it's higher by just one or sometimes well like four right here but that's on release even as though it's higher than just like one or two that's still all that com combined is a is a huge difference you know what i mean but that's cool to see last uh last since we're on topic of overall the way team overall is calculated has also been changed we now have more positions like wide receiver three cb3 dd dt2 and fb that are included in the formula you'll also notice that positional weights have been flattened out compared to past years so just having a great quarterback won't significantly impact your team's overall we want every position to feel important when it continues to your team but i don't even know how uh weighted it was last year like i knew it was but i didn't know how heavy it was but it seems like they're flattening it out 
Another big feedback topic was PAX. Okay, hopefully, hopefully this is something good right here, y'all. Yeah. It was extremely important to us to find ways to add more value to every pack that gets pulled. We accomplished that in a variety of ways, starting with the simplest and most noticeable change. Coaches, uniform stadiums have been removed. Ooh! Ooh! That's big, because you know, coaches' uniform stadiums take up like three to four of the cards out of a pack. Um, we plan to do our very best to keep most packs exclusively filled with players throughout the year. That's big. That's big. So how do you get items that are removed from packs? You'll still start them up by selecting a starter pack, which provides all those things. Right, right, right. But when you are looking to get more, you'll need something we're calling team tokens. Team tokens are obtainable by trading in silver and gold players from specific from the specific team. Uh, uh. We don't have specified examples of how these sets are constructed yet because the truth is we're still honing in the exact numbers to make they're still uh, you're still honing in the exact numbers the launch is about 18 days away big fella um but again to obtain green bay packers team token you will need numerous silver and gold packers players having systems like this continue adding value to everything you pull to packs that's that's true okay so upgrades team tokens are not only used for getting non-player items they also show up when it comes time to upgrade various items and what. And when talking about upgrades, there's no better place to start than with the players. At launch, each team has at least four different players that are eligible uh, to be upgraded. Let's run through an example, but as before, we're still tweaking the final. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mike Evans with the with the Bucks. Sorry, so a tier one requires a 70 overall Mike Evans earned from the Bucks starter pack. Okay. And then the Bucks team token. If you put both those into a set, you get a 75. Mike Evans not auctionable. Okay, so oh, and then there's tier two. Oh, tier three. Okay, so 75 non auctionable Mike Evans reserve um, earned from the previous pack with the team token gets you 81. And then the 81 with the 89 core elite with a team token gets you a 91. Okay, actually that's that's kind of cool, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if it depends it had to be someone like pretty good to want to spend a team token on that and it, i mean it depends how hard it is to get a team token because it says it says a good amount of, of gold and silver so it really depends how how worth that would be that example demonstrates the general structure okay yeah, yeah so i won't even read all this if you're fully if you're able to fully upgrade the pittsburgh steelers coach stadium and both uniforms every stealer on your team will receive oh maybe i should have read all this hold up but players are not the only thing that's upgradable. You can also upgrade coaches, stadiums, both dark and light uniforms. Upgrading those items provides additional chemistry boosts for players of that same team. So, oh, so if you got if you're doing a squad builder, if you have an all Philly squad and you upgrade your your uh, your Doug Peterson coach, then everyone's gonna get a plus one to all these stats. That's kind of crazy. Adjustments to tiers. Okay, here we go. With the adjustments made uh, to the overall formula, it has also made sense for us to revisit the way we've typically broken down our players' four tiers, bronze, silver, gold, elite. The one that jumps out mo is, most is that elites now start at 80. When running this proposal by some of our fans, they were excited about the idea of more players from their favorite teams reaching the elite tier. We feel like having the tiers broken up like this is nice and clean, but plus who doesn't enjoy seeing more red paint? <laughs> uh i personally think they should have another tier in here like 90 to 99 maybe too maybe too uh low so maybe 95 to 99 but i think they should have something else uh maybe like a, a sil or a bronze silver gold elite and then diamond or, or something you know what i mean i i think like 80 to 99 eh. i, I want to see another another color in there or something maybe i don't know as you may have picked up when we showed Madden NFL 18 uh, art for the Rookie Premier Players program, Borders make a return. For those who of you who are not familiar, imagine opening a pack and getting Team of the Week player. Last year, the border for that would have matched this his tier. What? Would have matched his tier, sorry. Gold or Elite. But this year, all Team of the Week players will have a green border regardless of their tier. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, we will have different colors for almost every program releases here. Okay, that that's cool because I want to see like different colors I want to see different uh, designs and stuff Adjustments to trade block next up is a topic Controversial in the community, but it's something we talked about going all the way back to our reddit AMA We did a few months back the trade block in mutt has quite honestly been abused Yep, over 90% of the trades are lopsided in value and overwhelmingly used for nef nefarious reasons nefarious nefarious I think I think they're just talking about dudes like trading cards and stuff. Um, we went as far as having discussions of removing the trade block entirely, but that's not something. We, why don't you just put like 
uh, pink slips or something in the game where you could, you know what I mean, or like wagers in the game. So, oh, this is it? Okay, hold on. Let me. Um, instead, we're making a change in the way trades work in Man 18. Now, when you trade an item, the item becomes. No How are the items? What? If you trade an item, it becomes non-auctionable. However, if it's traded back to the original owner, it is once again allowed to be auctioned. Uh, this is the best compromise we could find when it comes to reacting to the security issues the trade block is presenting while not punishing players who legitimately want to let one of their friends try out a new player. That's not, um, I mean, that's, that's kind of dumb. That's kind of stupid. What, what is that helping you achieve? I definitely don't know about that one, but it's cool. Um, but yeah, that's that's the Mutt blog, y'all. I'm also going to be releasing a video about the soundtrack. I was in the middle of recording my video about the soundtrack, and then this came out. So I got to get this out to y'all first. Obviously, this is more important. But the soundtrack's all right. The soundtrack's definitely um, it's standing out. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Again, if you're new, when you hit that sub button, hit that notification button as well. Uh, join notification squad. Never miss a video. Hit that like button for me, y'all. And that's it. It's your boy, Taylor. God, I'm out. Peace.